Hello and thanks for watching this local edition, I'm Eric Quatilla. An activity day that was recently held at a local library gave visitors a chance to try out a number of crafts and even show off some of their own. Chris Darrow has the details. Chris? Eric? People of all ages recently spent time learning new activities at the Wexford Public Library and enjoying a variety of handmade crafts all made locally. This is Hunting for Crafts too, and it's just basically where we have different people from the community, most of them are patrons that come in here that are demonstrating a craft that they like to do. Volunteers took time to share their skills with others. It's basically showing somebody else how to do the craft and sitting and working with them to show them different techniques and sharing their talents with everybody else. Those talents included a wide range of crafts. There's all kinds of crafts going on. We have knitting crafts, knitting demonstrations, we have crochet demonstrations. Right now we have an origami demonstration going on. It's just a sharing event where everybody that comes in enjoys sharing what they like to do. Sharing those crafts made for an inexpensive activity. There's no charge for any of this all day long. It's all free. And all you have to do is just stop in and wander through and sign our guest book. The feedback from both organizers and participants was very positive. This is our second year for Hunting for Crafts. And last year it was the, a huge success. We had a lot of people that went through last year and really enjoyed it and said they wanted to see it again this year. And we've been having people ask all summer, so we decided to do it again. And it's been real good. We've had a real a good steady flow of people that have been walking through the room today. Well, it actually started last year. I um, heard about the Hunting for a Craft show. I'm here at the library and so I brought in my stuff last year and I had set it out, displayed it and they um, asked me to come back this year to bring it and I'm actually in a couple minutes will be demonstrating how to crochet. I actually really enjoy it. It's really fun to come in and to be able to share what I've learned um, with someone else and also learn something new. I learned how to knit this morning. So Now, organizers are planning to hold this and other similar events in the future. Details can be found online at the library's website, cadillaclibrary.org. For Local Edition, I'm Chris Darrow. Now back to you, Eric. Thanks, Chris. Coming up next on Local Edition, a school in our area has some extra funding for their reading program after they received some grant money. That story is next. Stay with us.